Hi Sonoma County, it's still Friday, October 9th. I'm doing a couple of catch up vlogs because I finally have a little downtime. Um, but I've had some interesting meetings today, so today was really a day for us to set up our own um, appointments with folks in our in our industry. And so uh, the first, I had two specific meetings today. Uh, the first one was actually with a, a local professor. Um, she's a food scientist focused on food systems and sustainability. And she actually teaches a class. Um, got connected with her through Russ uh, Joy, who is at uh, Patson Hall Winery. His daughter is actually over here in Copenhagen studying and had done a report on our sustainability initiative. So talk about a small world, Sonoma County, Copenhagen, and now a few weeks later, I'm here meeting with uh, her professor. So pretty, pretty fun, pretty great. Um, just shows goes to show how uh, international, global, and sort of small the, the wine community can be at the same time. And so met with her, and she teaches sustainable food systems, and so I asked her to define sustainability for me, and she literally pulled a chair over and said, it's like a chair. So you have four legs on the chair, and you have the first, the first leg on the chair is the product itself, so you have to focus on the product. The product has to be kind of this, the, a really important part of, you know, the final, um, the final sustainability. It's like, is that a quality? Do people want it? You know, what, what's the product look like? And then the other three legs of the chair are, you know, similar to what we say, so the, the economic, the environmental, and the community piece. And so I, I like that analogy. You know, we typically think of it as sort of the, the triple bottom line, but the idea that you actually need to focus on the product as part of the equation, which sort of seems like an, a, a nuance or a subtlety, but I think it was kind of an important explanation. But as we dove into sort of talking um, about sustainable food systems and what sustainability means here, um, I think it was uh, really interesting because the thing that kept coming up in our conversation was that sustainability is really about values and that it's um, about what you sort of care about, what you prioritize. And she said, you know, the, the Danish people are about community and about health and about supporting, you know, local and that local has become such a big deal here. And I think that's partly true because of you know, the, the sort of the Nordic food, you know, Danish food movement that's happened with Noma, you know, I think over the last 20 years, really focusing on their, their local food and embracing their, their local products here. Um, and she actually said, told me a really interesting story that, you know, I would love to be, be true for us in Sonoma County as well. But she said that, uh, that, you know, the dairy pricing is really low right now. And so some of the retailers, local grocery stores here, actually cut dramatically the price of milk. And they said, you know, the pricing's low. And so they cut, they cut the prices and they were going to, you know, help sort of stimulate the milk purchasing that way. And then there was another retailer that did something completely opposite at the same time. Instead of cutting the prices, they actually increase the prices by that same kind of discount the other ones were the other retailers were giving so they increased the price and they said the entire increase in price was going to go back to the local farmer to the producer to support the farming and to support agriculture and when they made that announcement they actually had a line out the door to buy that milk at the higher price so that the local community wanted to support agriculture and I just um, I think that was just a pretty amazing case study on what it really means to value you know, local farming, local food, and, you know, how appreciative the community is of, of their farmers here and what that means from a value system. And so it was neat to talk to her. She had a lot of great information, but that was the story that really resonated. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that and, and more to come on sustainability and, and food here in Copenhagen.